As we go through the first unit in geometry, we need to learn how to do constructions. And what we're going to use for that is on Desmos. So I'll assume that you've made a Desmos account and you've got a screen that looks like this. You're going to come up to Math Tools and notice down here we've got the Geometry tool. And that's where we want to go. Over here are different shapes that you can work with and you're going to want to practice with these before you actually start doing the constructions which will be done on future videos. Um, we can do uh, line segments so I'm going to click on segment, uh, hold down where I want to start my segment and then let up when I'm done. If I go back to select and then I click on one of the points, oops, that's not where I want to be, click on one of the points, let me do that again, select, and here. Now if you look down here you've got choices. I want to label this so it's going to be easier to talk about later. I can come over to the other point and do the same thing and now we have line segment AB. If I wanted to draw a circle from point B, I click on the circle icon. I'm going to go to point B and hold. Oops, from point B I'm going to hold. Oh, let me delete that one, hang on. So I'm going to select, click on that circle, and I want to delete because that's not where I wanted my circle from. Try again. So I want the circle icon. At point B I'm going to hold and drag and I can make the circle as big or as small as I want it to be. So if I wanted the circle to go through point A, I would stop when I got to A. When I want to get rid of something, I'm again going to go to the select button, then click the object, and come down here and I could tell it to hide it or to delete it. I want to delete for right now. Uh, in future videos you'll see when you want to use the hide button. If I want to draw an angle from here I can simply choose another segment, come out to B, hold and drag and now I can have an angle and we will need to work with angles later on and give it another angle so we can talk about angle ABC. If I want to find the measure of angle ABC, this one up here that says angle, notice you get instructions down here, choose a point, so I'm going to choose A. Choose the vertex, which is the turning point, and choose the other point, which will be point C, and now it tells me right here that this angle is 109 degrees. So this one is not so much for drawing the angle as it is measuring the angle. These are the tools you're going to work with most in our constructions. So if you would practice drawing segments, uh, drawing circles, and measuring angles, those will be the biggest things you need to work with. So take some time to practice and then in future videos we'll talk about um, doing the actual constructions.